In this tutorial, we will cover the layout of Scratch 3 environment and get familiar with the basic terms used in Scratch. It is important to get a good understanding of these basics, as it will help you guide your child and be effective in helping them learn. Let's start with the top blue menu. This menu offers you the ability to download what you create to your computer. It also allows you to upload previously downloaded programs. The full sharing of programs in the online Scratch community will not be available till the official launch of Scratch 3.0 in January 2019. Below the blue menu, we have a gray menu. On the right, we have the green flag button, which allows you to start the program you create. The red stop sign button will stop the running program. The full screen button allows you to run your program in full screen mode. This is important as the stage right now that you see it's quite small where the cat stands. On the left side of the gray menu, the code, costumes, and sounds tabs allow you to control the context of the center screen. Code lets you add blocks on the current selected character known as a sprite in Scratch terms. The Costumes tab lets you change the look of your sprites. The Sound menu lets you record or assign sounds to your sprites. The cat is the default sprite when you first start Scratch. The cat is displayed on the stage here. Left of the center screen are the code blocks when the Code tab is selected. Visit nextlesson.com and subscribe to our free course on how to teach your child to program. We provide videos with more detail as well as written guides. Thank you.